A highly controversial Senate report is igniting a firestorm in Washington, potentially around the world as well. In a 500-page summary of their findings, Senate Democrats detail CIA torture and allege that the agency's interrogation of terror suspects was more brutal than officials acknowledged and not effective in gaining intelligence. Most Republicans call the report's findings flawed and biased. U.S. military installations and embassies are now on alert today after the, re the release, I should say. Craig Boswell is on Capitol Hill. He has details. This is what it looks like. Senator Dianne Feinstein says a review of a secret CIA detention and interrogation program of terror suspects after 9-11 is too important to shelve. They describe brutal, around-the-clock interrogations. The Democratic Senators Committee carried out the five-year review concluding the CIA routinely went beyond what was legally allowable enhanced interrogation techniques weren't effective in getting information and the agency systematically lied about the effectiveness of the program in order to keep it going. Republican Senator John McCain was tortured in Vietnam. I know from personal experience that the abuse of prisoners will produce more bad than good intelligence. Republicans on Feinstein's committee did not participate in writing the report and many in the GOP dispute the overall findings. This particular release, uh, in my judgment, serves no purpose whatsoever other than to endanger Americans around the world. Charlie Allen, a former CIA assistant director, says the program saved lives. I think at the time we had to know what was going on and we got the information. The CIA says it operated within the law at the time, carrying out a program authorized by the White House and the Justice Department. Craig Boswell, CBS News, Capitol Hill. A White House spokesman says the president will leave it up to the Department of Justice to determine if any crimes were committed or if CIA leaders lied to Congress. DOJ attorneys say they have reviewed the report and are not planning to prosecute any CIA officers.